Welcome to video 190 in series 3, and now I'll write the NPC set my attacker script. Okay, so I'm going to write a new script. In this case, I'll just put it in the NPC scripts folder. And I'll call it NPC underscore set my attacker and open it up. I have four variables here. First of all, private NPC state pattern, NPC state pattern, private game manager, NPC relations master, NPC relations master. Private int faction change amount is equal to 2, public bool apply chain effect, apply relation chain effect is equal to false. So this is going to apply in the case of like shooting, etc., melee attacks, and I won't have any uh, chain effect with that. All right, so no on enable or on disable, and nor will I have an update method. Inside of set initial references, I have npc state pattern is equal to get component npc state pattern, and then if game object dot find game manager dot get component game manager underscore npc relations master is not equal to null, then npc relations master is equal to game object dot find game manager dot get component game manager npc relations master. Inside of start, I will call set initial references. And now I'll write the method here. So public void set my attacker with the parameter passed in transform attacker and npc state pattern dot my attacker is equal to attacker. If npc relations master is not equal to null, then npc relations master dot call event npc relation change pass in transform dot tag. So this is the npc affected attacker dot tag. That's the instigator minus faction change amount. So that's the value two and apply relation chain effect. All right. So that is it for this script. Now we need to go and uh, attach that to the NPC. And I'll just use the, uh, I should just go to the prefabs really and apply it there. So NPC. And now this is going to change the game manager relations uh, stuff there, but we still haven't written a script for it to apply back on the NPCs. We'll do that, I think, the next video. Uh, so let me just add the component here, set my attacker. So NPC, set my attacker. And yep, keep that off. Don't apply chain relation effect. It's just a bit unnecessary for this sort of ordinary stuff. Again, do that for evil max and our ranged ally. So I can show it in action. You'll see a change in the game manager. So just remember, for example, I'll just use friendly fire as an example. And you know that the friendly has a relation of 100 with the player. So let's just see it in action now that I've applied it. So there's the maxes. Let me just use the crowbar. Swing it a few times. Oops. And you can see that there. See, it struck a lot. And uh, now the friendly faction has a relation of 70 with the player. And, uh, yep, and with the player, their relation with the uh, friendly faction is 70. So you can see it's an operation. But uh, even if it had changed, it's not going to, like, you know, it's become into the enemy category. It's not going to affect the NPCs yet. We have to write a script for that. But at least we are our set my attacker script is doing its job. So that's perfect. We've done well. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.